Hello guys, this is Rock here, and today I am here with with that oldie. This is the one of the older meta builds right now, the Dire Wolf with the Ghost Vomit, and I decided to randomly check it out in the solo queue. You know, I didn't play this mech before a lot, and I thought, you know, just wanted to see if this old meta build does still does well in the solo queue, and. But a lot has changed uh, since this mech was considered, you know, the top tier meta mech. And the reasons for that is the numerous nerfs to the clan engines or engines in overall, um, skill nerfs, and clan laser nerfs. So this is seriously gimped compared to its old form, but let's see how gimped it is. So playing the direwolf definitely needs a different playstyle. You just can't, you know, take it to the middle of the map like the Kodiak, face the enemy and just absolutely melt them into alphas. Um, the direwolf is very squishy and it's painfully slow at 52 kph after the engine uh, engine skill nerf, uh, the speed tweak nerf. We're talking about 52 kph here and it is indeed very slow. So on some maps you will be straight out get left behind and you will die horribly but on most maps you can still put yourself in a central position and just right. pretend sure. like sure. it's a bunker. So you're signaling your opponents come at me bro I'm right here in the middle of the map in the open what are you going to do about it and it's it's definitely a fun gameplay style but you need to choose your position very carefully and you need to manage the enemy aggro and you should keep an eye on the minimap just to make sure you're, you're not getting left behind which is one of the biggest problems of this mech so this build has a total of 70 alpha and you're delivering that alpha in, in a large pulse duration so in 1.1 seconds you're doing 70 damage and not many mechs can take that most mechs will straight out just melt away Targeting. and if you are careful with your aim, if you are steady with your aim, Targeting. you can all try to kill, kill mechs. Just like the Kodiak, how it went down. I focused his CT and it just goes down. But this guy is a problem. My CT is already damaged because the CT of the direwolf is very easy to hit and this thing doesn't twist well. And I'm really wary of engaging that Kodiak right now. So I'm just trying to get some easy shots here. I see that Ibon Jaguar on the side of the map. But I'm also very wary of the Kodiak because he can just outright kill me in two salvos. So I need to be really careful about it. And I already messed up. I also messed up his. CT, so he's going to be very careful about peeking out. So we are pretty much in the same situation. And I have the Doom 3 soundtrack playing in the background, by the way. I recently finished that game and the soundtrack just pumps me up, you know, it jacks me up. <laughs> and it's good for the results. I'm waiting for that Kodiak to show himself off. He's just he will he'll be dead in like half a second if he does so. And it's six to three, looks like we're winning. But we'll see about that. Oh he puts up a UAV, he thinks I'm coming to him. I actually thought about rushing him, but then I decided against it. Because in a direwolf you really don't want to get close as I had said earlier, you want to keep that range at least. I think the comfortable engagement range for the direwolf is 400 to 600 meters. That's the range where you can spread damage more easily and your armor, your survival will be better and it shows up in a most unfortunate moments. But I decided to ignore him and just go for these easy kills. And down goes the Viper. It's 8 to 6. The enemy definitely had a small comeback there. 
And he finally shows himself. <laughs> Goes down immediately. Target destroyed. But this build is definitely hot, so I usually fire only the three first three groups. The Gauls, two large pulses and two mediums, and only fire the fourth ER, ER medium uh, laser group. Only when I need it, when I want something absolutely dead. And it just goes down. This playing this mech is like this just zap, 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 and zap. Um, sometimes, as I said, you will get left behind and you will die horribly. It's going to be frustrating, but sometimes you get these kinds of matchups where you just sit in the middle of the map and just dominate and everything that pops up. Ah, I go down. Actually, was expecting to tank it with my CT, but his alpha was also pretty big. So yeah, I go down, but it doesn't matter. We already won, and I do 1,200 damage, five kills, and four assists. It definitely didn't feel so. Uh, so I was surprised with the result. But yeah, jack racking up damage is very easy with this mech, and I, I'll be playing this more.